Hey, it's Ashley. Welcome to Wedding in a Pinch. Now, today's video is going to be about five things to consider when you're renting for your wedding. Now, first of all, we need to check with our venues because our venues, definitely our ceremony and reception venues, they can give us insight, they can give us tips, they can even give us the right direction to go into when we go look at these companies because they probably have worked with them and they have reviews already from working with them in the past. Also, if you check with your wedding venue, they can give you the sizes you need for tables. They can tell you exactly if you need tables or not. And they can actually tell you how many can fit in the room. They can also tell you how many chairs and linens. So check with your venue first to get all that information. Make sure you write it down, take notes. Second of all, make sure you're shopping around. So make sure it fits in your budget. Make sure the price is accurate. I mean, I understand we're on a budget, but don't be too cheap. Because these people are going to be sitting down on these chairs. They're going to be sitting at the table. And I've been to a wedding to where I literally put my elbows on the table. And the table went, blap. Yes, blap. And there go all the precious little jewelry that she put on there on the ground. So you want to make sure that we're sticking in the budget, but we're not being too cheap. And then we want to make sure we're looking at the quantity and quality. Now, some wedding companies are small, so they don't have a lot of things to run out. So when you're looking and shopping around, ask them, hey, what's your inventory like? And what do you guys offer? Do you guys just offer tables and chairs? And that gives me into the, sec into the next subject. Make sure they can offer you multiple things. When I say multiple, you just don't want to look at tables, chairs. Those are very common. But you also want to see about linens. Because yes, you can rent linens and buy linens. But what are you going to do with those linens after your wedding? Unless you are big into party planning in your family and you big at throwing events, then I'll say invest. But if you're not, do not invest in wedding linens. If you're not going to be part planning parties after your wedding. I know this sounds weird. You can rent them. Yes, the renting might be a little high, but rent your linens, wash them, send them back, call it good. So when you're looking for multiple items, I say make sure they have tables and chairs. Make sure they can offer you linens, napkins. Yes, you can rent like the cloth napkins. Definitely if you're having a very, very formal wedding. And then you wanna make sure they have any type of decor pieces in catering pieces because if you're not hiring a catering to come in you're going to need some fancy decor pieces i want to say we can go to like dollar tree sam club costco get those little foil pans put some little candles on it keep it hot but well wedding i said if you can splurge rent out the heating dishes the tongs the silverware the pictures and all that that way, everything can be cohesive, and there's one last thing that is taking up your your garage or your space that you have put aside for your wedding, and it's, take, it's taking out the trust. Okay, what am I going to do with this stuff when I'm done? And that's why winning things for your wedding is a great splurge, I have to say, for any bride, doesn't matter if you're on a budget or no budget, because there's less things that you have to, one, store, two, try to resell, and three, worry about how to get it there then you want to worry about then then that way you don't have no words i know i said worry about yeah some people worry about renting and the issues so when you're looking at the quality and the quantity check out the linens see what colors they got give a feel look for holes tears raggedy i'm just saying some rental companies don't keep their stuff up so always check the merchandise so so far, we've covered venues, we cover price, we try cover quality and quantity, and multiple of items that they offer. Here's the last one, delivery. I say delivery because it can make or break. Because if you don't have a truck that you can use, like your dad, your uncle, your friends, somebody in your family that can pick up your rentals, you wanna make sure the rental company you're renting from offer delivery understand the fee understand if they can deliver to the location and set up because some companies do come in and set up the table put the linens down for you and so you want to understand what they're offering you 
So, make sure you ask all the questions you need to ask. Ask them about their inventory. Ask them about cleaning process. Ask them if they're insured. You want to just ask the basic questions that you want to know. And always understand, it's okay to shop around. It's okay to get quotes. So that's why I said check with your venue number one. Because your venue can tell you what they're offering you, what they can give you. And that way, you know exactly what you need to get when you go out looking for these rental companies. Also, your wedding venue can give you your count. Because sometimes we forget how many tables we have. And there's different sizes to tables. Your, di like your basic dinner tables are a different size from your buffet tables. Your buffet tables are different from your cocktail tables. So you want to make sure that your venue is writing out all the sizes that they have, what size linens you want, so they can look cohesive. So, I hope these five tips help you guys when it goes to looking for your wedding rentals. Stay blessed, stay loved, don't forget to love your partner.